What is up everybody? So this comes from Presumed Guilty on Twitter. Now something that convicting a murderer is doing is showing you how many times Stephen Avery, Brendan Dassey changed their story. But what they're not showing you is how many times people from the other side of the fence changed their story as well. I've already pointed it out a few times and I'm going to point out one more here. Now, like I said, this is from Presumed Guilty and I will link their Twitter account in the description below. They state, episode 9 suggests Teresa Halbach's RAV4 was temporarily stored in Stephen Avery's garage. Earl first said the garage door was open with Stephen Avery and the snowmobile inside the garage. No RAV4. But when Earl was re-interviewed, he said Stephen Avery was outside of the garage with the door shut. A change that can benefit who? Now, clearly, that's a change that can benefit Ken Kratz. And here is the DCI report from November the 9th, 2005. Earl Avery recalled driving past Stephen Avery's trailer, seeing Stephen Avery inside of the detached garage area looking at a snowmobile. Now, when he was re-interviewed on November the 11th, his story changed. It states that Earl first observed Stephen Avery standing, staring at his snowmobile, which is on a trailer attached to Stephen's black pickup truck. Earl recalls the door being shut, which means he wouldn't have been able to see inside the like he had said two days before. So his story clearly changed. And this is what Ken Kratz stated. Put that up on the screen as well. So that clearly, clearly a change that benefits Ken Kratz, his story, his version of events. One day the garage door is open when he's interviewed, but Ken Kratz allegedly is like, mm, that doesn't really fit our narrative. How about you say that the door is allegedly closed? That fits our story better. Who knows, could that have happened? Absolutely, did it happen? I mean, it certainly looks like it did. He changed his story within a matter of a couple of days. So how come some people can change their story and it's uh, not okay, but this guy can change his story in a matter of two days, but that's all right. Just a complete double standard there. But it's okay for Earl Avery to change his story. It's okay for others to change their story when it benefits uh, Ken Kratz and the prosecution. But when it comes to Stephen Avery and Brendan Dassey, it's not okay for them to have changes in theirs. Quite strange if you ask me. What do you think? Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you again soon.